Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are back at the barn. You guys did seem to like these lattices that we put in, and I, I they've grown on me. I think we're going to keep them. I think they fit very nicely into this build. Ooh, little egg spike. And uh, I think all is good. I do want to talk to you guys and get your opinion on something very important, and that is the future of this series. Um, so, as you guys know, Design Tech is my own mod pack, custom built by yours truly, and, um, I have to say, I've, I've kind of gotten the, the itch, I guess we'd call it, to start making a mod pack again. I I kind of miss the whole playing around with configs and, uh, you know, messing around with customizing individual things and making scripts that uh, cause mods to behave in certain, you know, the customization, the fun, the aspect of building a mod pack that really kind of makes it your own. I also have been finding myself in this mod pack kind of missing certain mods, um, which makes me very sad because... I mean, this is my, this mod pack is kind of my baby <laughs> in a lot of ways. It's, uh, you know, I've put so much time and, and effort into this thing. Um, but I've also, when I made design tech, I had a very clear goal in mind. I wanted to make a mod pack. Wow, we decaying wheat. Does wheat decay? No. Oh, that makes me very sad. Um, no, that's okay. We don't need a whole lot of it. Um, anyway, we have... No, not that button. There we go. Um, when I made this mod pack, I had a very clear goal in mind, and that was to make a mod pack that focuses extremely heavily on design and aesthetics with some tech thrown in, and that was it. No magic. No... Uh, overpowered mods, nothing that would, you know, make a huge challenge. Um, I mean, it was a very, I had a very clear goal when I decided to make this mod pack. Uh, and I really like that about this mod pack. I don't really want to change that because I'm quite happy with how it turned out um, as far as that part of it goes. So I really don't want to mess around with that too much, but at the same time, I'm finding myself missing certain mods that I would like to have in here, like Botania, and Mechanism, and Immersive Engineering, and uh, Thaumcraft, maybe. I really, I still haven't really played around with Thaumcraft a whole lot. Blood Magic, Witchery, um, maybe some, some challenge-adding mods, like Hardcore Ender Expansion, or... Um, you know, just a bunch of different stuff. And I don't particularly want to add all those in here because it, they they don't fit with kind of the goal and the theme of the pack. But at the same time, I really want to play with those mods. And I really kind of have the desire to go back and make a mod pack again. It's been a long time since I've done so. So I'm I'm kind of slightly considering ending design tech as a series and in its place creating a new mod pack that would take its place and would basically be a mod pack that I could modify however I wanted that would be designed for long ter uh, long term play um, with kind of the goal that it would have a bit of everything and you would never really run out of things to do. There would always be something to do that you hadn't done. And if by some chance I did complete everything that there was to do, I could go back and I could tweak some of the mods within it and add more and then we'd have more stuff to do. So that's kind of what I'm toying around with the idea of. I don't know yet if that's what's going to happen. And that's kind of what I wanted to get your opinions on. Um, I'm also very, very close to being done with the development of an additional mod pack, 
which I'm just going to call Almost Vanilla. And it's basically just going to be Vanilla Minecraft, but with a handful of kind of um, quality of life mods, like um, Inventory Tweaks, Journey Map, uh, NEI, stuff like that. Nothing, nothing that would actually really change Minecraft, although I am kind of toying around with the idea of adding in like Tinker's Tweaks uh, or like a Tinker's Construct and some of that kind of stuff. But for the most part, nothing that would change Minecraft. Hmm. What else does this barn need? I think we need some lanterns or something. Uh, lamp? Uh, yeah, nope. Hmm. We need a lighting solution here. Let's do this. Let's grab some glowstone and some carpenter's blocks, and we'll just light it up that way. So anyway, I wanted to get your opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think that would be a good idea? Would you be very sad if I ended design tech? Would that, would that like, crush your hopes and dreams? Or would you be more excited to see me come out with something new? Uh, which, of course, would be available uh, to download on FTB and uh, Technic Launcher and all that good stuff. You'd still be able to play it. Um, and I will still continue, uh, you know, maintaining design tech as far as, um, you know, like, you know, normal mod pack stuff. Like uh, fixing bugs and things like that, if I can. Um let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious. There's, it, I see the pros and the cons of each, and uh, in a lot of ways, I'm really tempted to end this series. Not because I dislike design tech, but because the thought of coming out with a new mod pack uh, and enjoying that really, really appeals to me. Especially since it would allow me to play around with a whole lot of different mods and change it you know the mod pack i could add new mods into it whenever i felt like it uh just overall it would just be a much better um it, it would be a much better mod pack for like a long term series for a type of series that we could take to you know 100 episodes or whatever we decided to do with it and of course that fell down there i'll get it in a minute so let me know what you guys' thoughts are on that because i'm i'm torn and i can't make up my mind um, and I just kind of want to, I want to, I want to hear what your thoughts are. So, uh, let me know, let me know in the comments. That's very, very important that I get your opinions, uh, on that particular aspect of things. So, yeah, but barn, let's see, uh, let's go ahead and apply these. We're just going to light this stuff up with, uh, those carpenter's blocks. Like I said, provides a nice light. Let me hit uh, F7. Just make sure nothing... Ooh, we do have a spawnable area over here. Okay. Actually, do I have my magnet on me? I do. Let's activate that. I'm tired of this stuff falling through the floor. There we go. Any spawnable areas? No. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Now we need to do the same thing up in here. Wow, this stuff is actually spawnable right now. That's kind of surprising. And we'll just do... We'll just do this. Kind of break it up a little bit. Put, uh, you know... This is probably way more than I actually need, but that's okay. Uh, those are good. All right. And those are still spawnable, so we'll have to... We'll have to kind of do something out here. Maybe we'll do this one. That should keep this area from being spawnable. Yep, looks good. And that way we'll just fill those in so you never know. And there we go. That looks great. Okay. Um, and then here, let's go like this, and yeah, there we go. Easy trick. Very, very good trick for just kind of keeping these areas from being spawnable. Just carpenter's blocks and glowstone. 
makes it work out really well. That way nothing can kind of spawn up here on the roof because we don't want we don't want stuff spawning on the roof. Like that's that's just no fun to deal with. And it's just an annoyance like yeah, you just want you don't want to deal with that. There we go. And then I think we still need to do this side. And actually we can probably do that from up here. There we go. And one more right there. Beautiful. That looks excellent. Now we still have this up here, but I'm not I'm not gonna mm -hmm. mm, how do I wanna do this? Do I wanna deal with these? Nah, I'll just leave those. Those are fine. That'll be stuff that's way up on the roof. And look how bright it is in here now. Isn't that great? Although I suppose if we did do something up there with the roof, that would allow us to... Is this just normal? Yeah, those are just normal blocks, actually. Let's, let's actually go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll just mix a couple of these in. That's also going to kind of light up the rafters of the barn as well, which is a good thing. There we go. And then we need another like right there. And one more way over here. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now there should be no spawnable areas within the barn. Even if I do away with these ugly torches here. That looks pretty good. Alright. Excellent. Now, the next step, we're going to want to do something probably with the stalls. So let's see what we have for fences. We've got normal fences. Oh, and actually, we also have nether brick. Let's just check this out and see how this looks. That or... Mm, yeah, I'm thinking we stick... Actually, you know, really what we want is dark oak fences. That's really... Although we found out that we don't have those, do we? Um... <laughs> Let's do this. I know that I've got a bunch of... Carpenter's Barriers. And I've got a bunch of dark oak wood. So... Here's what we gonna do. We're gonna break these. Then we're going to go into here. And actually, there's a question. I think that if we go, is it, I think it's Malice's doors, maybe, maybe not. Um, let's try fence. Why would you do? Hmm. I don't know why you would do one over the other. That's a little weird. All right. Whatever. If we do this. Oh, it's probably got to be oak wood. Hold on. Um, that is not how you spell oak. Oak. Let's just grab that. There we go. No? What am I doing wrong? If we look at gates... Oh, actually, here we go. This is better. Dark Oak Gate. Dark Oak... Huh? Wood slabs. Something here is a little derp. Something here is very derp. I'm just throwing it out there. That's... That's something I'm going to have to fix for sure. Um, let's just see. Okay, so that gives me normal fence gates. So let's... Hmm. Hmm. Let's do that for now, I guess. And then I'll have to add a, uh, a mind tweaker recipe. OK, 
Okay, so that's cool that those do that and open like so. Although I don't like that they're not connecting here. Let's see if they connect to these. Okay, and they do connect to these fences. So I think we'll go this route. Um, Color-wise, it wouldn't be my first choice, but I do like the fact that the gates open really wide like that. So we can keep whatever uh, whatever livestock, horses, you know, whatever we want in here. I think that's probably our best bet. Uh, let's go ahead and dump a lot of this stuff back into our ME system. And then let's see what we have for chests. Uh, we've got normal chests and trap chests. Um, let's see what we have here for chests. Uh, let's just see. Ooh, framed chest from Bibliocraft. That looks pretty cool, but it also looks like it's kind of a pain to make. Skystone, sky block. We've got various presents. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking we just go with the uh with the the default chests here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And we can go uh maybe on this side, we do like a trapped and a regular. And then on this side, we do the opposite. So we'd have a couple, we have a few different chests kind of over here. And then over on this side, uh, why don't we do this? Let's go to the ME system. And I should have a whole bunch. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that wheat. I need it. I'm going to need a lot of hay bales because I'm going to put some hay bales down as well. Um, come to me with the magnet. There we go. And then we'll just replant because you, you got to replant. It's, it's very important. It's almost, it's practically a rule. Bad things happen if you don't. And the sprinkler right here, that's making them grow faster in case you didn't know. But yeah, oh man, there are so many mods, so many mods that I want to play. That, I, that just don't fit with the theme of this pack. Agricraft is one that I'm actually really looking forward to. Uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and harvest all the sugar cane, too. Um, Agricraft, Thaumcraft, I mean, there's, there's so many. I'd love to get more into Applied Energistics. I'd love to maybe do, like, Draconic Evolution, even though it's crazy overpowered. That could be a lot of fun. Yeah. Just, I, I think you guys, I hope you guys can see why I'm considering ending this series. It's not because I don't love this series, because I do, but, oh man, I feel like I'm missing out on some pretty, um, why you no teleport? There we go. That was weird. Okay. Whatever. That was a little bit, uh, that, was, that was a little bizarre, just gonna say. Um, there we go. Let's get eight hay bales. And over here, we'll just put, uh, a couple like that. And then here, we'll maybe stack. Oh, you know what we could do? We could steal a couple from down in here. Um, although I do need an extra block. So let's just go... cobblestone. Let's just grab some cobblestone and uh, we can just sneaky place down there. You'll never know. You'll never know that, that there's cobblestone hiding down there. There we go. And that will allow us Yeah, that's a little better. Give us some height differential which is always nice. We can put one there, and then maybe one like, um, here. Oh, and actually I have another one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we got our hay bales kind of hiding down in here. And then over here we've got some chests, and then all this barn really needs is, uh, some animals. And maybe up here we'll end up putting, like, a whole bunch of different food storage things. Right here, I want to do something with this as well real quick. Because it's kind of bugging me. Um, maybe we go... 
cherry wood. And let's go ahead and make that into slabs. And then I need four stairs. And that should be enough. Now, see how this connects right here and it looks really derp? Because it's the same uh, level of depth. That makes things look just generally bad. So what we can do to fix that is just add some additional depth like this. And that already looks a million times better. I am kind of thinking, though, that cherry wood is not the right choice of wood for right here, though. I think I'm going to change that up. And I think maybe we'll go with the dark oak. I think the dark oak would be really good right there. Since we've got some dark oak kind of mixed in uh, throughout the build, I think that'll be fine. So let's put this stuff back. And dark oak slabs, dark oak stairs. That should be plenty. And we'll go like that. And like that. And there. And there. And then we just do this. So it'll give us kind of like a little shelving unit type thing. Uh, which I think will work pretty well. We could even add some stairs in like this, but we have to do it centered. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, there. Um, actually, let's pump that out one more. So it'd be like this. And then we'd go like so. And then maybe here... We go like that. Yeah, I think I like that better. I think that's definitely an improvement. Do that instead. And that'll give us kind of a kind of a, a shelf sort of thing. Um, which, as you can see, if you look closely, definitely makes this not look nearly as bad. Uh, so we'll go here, stair, there, a stair, and then we'll take out both of those and go slab and stair. There. So you got some shelves here, and then we can put chests up here and stuff if we want. Um, so I think that'll work. That'll work out quite nicely. We've got our barn kind of ready to go and all that kind of stuff. Um, kind of a talky episode, wanted to get your feedback on, on that stuff, as I said. But, uh, guys, I think that is gonna do it for me for this episode. Let me know, please, please let me know in the comments what you think about, um, coming out with a new mod pack, new series, long term, with a larger variety of different mods that I can change out as I feel like it, um, and that will never really run out of things to do in. Please let me know what you think about that, guys. So, um... Guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.